the good life full of fun. Yeah, so I totally understand. They're gonna be great. Honestly, we gotta know exactly. Oh, hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to my kitchen. Obviously, we got a big holiday coming up. We're very excited. Today, we're gonna make an awesome treat, and they're gonna be homemade vanilla cupcakes with cream cheese frosting. Oh my God, right? And we're gonna decorate them with all different types of tops. So we've got some little uh, fun marshmallow Halloween tops. Little, you gotta care for these. I should have put a cover on them. I got spiders in there. We've got candy corn. We've got orange and black candy, Reese's Pieces, black sprinkles, all kinds of stuff. And uh, just for helpers today, I got my crow over here. He's gonna just be leading us. And uh, this is actually one of our YouTube subscribers. Uh, <laughs> and this is his little buddy there. They've been listening for a while. They say I need to speed them up, shorten them up. So that's what we're gonna do today. So, so a lot of fun. So I'm gonna show you how to make a, a, a great homemade from scratch recipe of cupcakes. Show you exactly how to cook them. And then we're gonna have a lot of fun decorating them. All right, so what I've got here, just to get started, is I got one and a half cups of, if you will, like an all-purpose flour. I've got a half of a cup or one stick of butter, unsalted. All right, we got one cup of sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla, two eggs room temperature. How do you like the double hand here? I've got a half of a cup of heavy cream. That's right, heavy cream. And uh, this is obviously not a lot, not, not a low fat. Pinch of salt. And we've got two teaspoons of baking powder, okay? So essentially we're gonna mix all that up. It's gonna make about 12 cupcakes. We got the oven heated 350 degrees and they're probably gonna bake for about 20 minutes. I always tell you to set the timer for 15 and then just keep watching them periodically because every oven's a little different and sometimes there's different factors that change it, right? So I'm gonna show you exactly how to mix this up. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Then uh, the most fun we're gonna have right now is after we uh, cook them, we're gonna decorate them, take some great photos, something great that you can do for you, uh, with you and your family, all right? I'll talk to you guys in a couple minutes, all right? All right, so that being said, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you right over here to the blender and we're gonna mix everything up. So come on right over here. So what I've got here, I just got a Cuisinart a blender, which I love because it's got a lot of extra features in it. I got my bowl all set, and I'm gonna grab, essentially what we wanna do is we wanna take our butter, again, half stick, so let's get that going. Now the butter is soft, it's not melted, okay? So I got our butter, and I'm gonna mix in with that our sugar. And what you wanna basically do here is you're gonna what they call cream the butter. You're gonna take the butter and you're gonna mix it with the sugar and it's gonna get light and creamy, all right? So we're gonna mix that. And let's get this going right here. Don't get lost. So we're gonna mix that for about a minute or two and then when that's done, I'll turn right back to you guys. Okay guys, so what I did here is, like I said, I mixed one stick of butter with the sugar and that's forming essentially like a, like a paste. It's like a creamed, sugar and butter, okay? Oh, that smells good too. All right, so essentially now what we wanna do is just to add our wet ingredients, okay, and then we'll add our dry ingredients last. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the eggs, I'm gonna set this at a really low setting now, because now what we're trying to do is we're trying to mix it, okay? We're not trying to pump a lot of air into it. And that's gonna give that mixture a little bit of moisture, right? I'm gonna mix our vanilla, one of the favorite parts, of, I like mixing the vanilla in earlier because boy, when you mix that vanilla with the butter and the, uh, especially the sugar, oh, phenomenal. We're gonna mix that cream. So it's just a touch, I think when I poured it, I did a heavy pour. So it's half of a cup of cream. And then I've got my last bit here of uh, dry ingredients other than the salt, which is our two teaspoons of baking, powder, not soda, okay? And then we're gonna add our pinch of salt. And remember, you want the pinch of salt isn't, you're not gonna taste salt in there. What it does is it always brings out the flavors. Now I'm gonna bring my flour over. Now it's gonna be kind of wet. So now I'm gonna move it up to about medium speed. Okay guys, so I let it go just another minute. See how it's nice, almost perfect, nice and smooth. It's still got a little bit there, but that's fine. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly add Mmm, that tastes really good. And I'm gonna slowly add the flour. So again, general rule here, really slow. If not, it comes blasting back on you, okay? 
and it's going to make a nice smooth batter. So just go slow, let it incorporate, let it fold. Okay guys, come on right over here, let me show you what's going on. So see how nice and smooth that is? Look how perfect that is. So I'm going to do one scraping on the sides, alright? And then I'm going to do one more soft mix. So nice and slow, easy. You don't want to, you don't want to go too fast, and you always want to use the paddle, because you don't want to mix air into it. It'll collapse when it cooks, okay? So we're going to just mix that up, and then we're going to put it right in the cupcake cups, and go right from there. So I'll tune back in a sec. Hey guys! Alright, so here we go. We've got this going. I'm going to scrape this down. And then I'm just going to get a spoon and I'm going to fill the cups up. And you want to essentially fill them up as equal as you can get, okay? So just start off with a small spoon, like a tablespoon, alright? And yes, I am saving the, the beater for later. So I'm going to grab a nice big spoon, okay? And I'm just going to come in and scoop it, right? And then just set it right in there. You should end up with about, like I said, enough for a dozen. You don't want to overfill them because they are going to expand when they cook. So I try to get them about two thirds to three quarters filled. All right, guys, look at that. Woo! Does that look beautiful? So it's all settled right in there. I got a dozen. I got the oven at 350. So what I'm going to do is set that right in and get it right in the middle of the oven, both height. And in depth, and then I'm going to grab my trusty timer. And again, I always set it for 15, as I told you. And that way I can just do a check 15 minutes in just to make sure I don't forget. All right, so we're going to tune back to you guys in about 15 minutes. Talk to you in a minute. You guys ready? What do you see these puppies? Mm. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. See that? And like I said, it's always a good idea to pull them out just a touch. See that one was down a little, that one's down, a couple of them overfilled. I just get so excited when I fill my little cups. All right, so we're, we're gonna let this cool for a few minutes, and then once it's cool, we're gonna frost them. If you frost them when it's warm, frosting's gonna melt. So we're gonna let them cool a real nice. You good? Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. I gotta tell you. Oh my God, they smell good. I'm telling you, they're good. So here's one of my, pastry. So what you do is if you, over, if you overfill a couple and they hang over, those are the ones you eat. Those are your testers. So I made the frosting, okay? So there it is. Look how beautiful that is, right? So as you guys know, cream cheese frosting. And I'm going to stuff this baby right in there. So you, if you use one of these or even a regular bag, you want to get it down as far as you can because, you know, you're going to obviously push it out the end. So, ooh. And these are a lot of fun. You know, my grandmother and, uh, my grandmother was a baker and a cake, uh, she used to decorate cakes, as well as my, uh, my aunt, Emily. So, man, they could, take, they could take this stuff and make the most beautiful little decorations. Gorgeous. All those cakes, you know, with all the little flowers and stuff. Oh my God, awesome. All right, so here you go. So I'm gonna slide that off to the side. So what you're gonna do, and again, you can use a Ziploc bag. You can stuff one of these guys, right? So these are a lot more fun because you can get a little bit of an attachment on, all right? And you just twist it. You're going to twist it down if you got one of these, right? And then you just work like a, like a tube of toothpaste. You're just going to squeeze it down and you're going to see it start to work its way out of the bottom. So that's what it's going to do. Here it comes right here. So we, you're going to twist it. Twist it right down, okay? And you want the, oh, there it comes, yep. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. And then once you get it nice and tight, all you're going to do is you're just going to give it a squeeze and you're just going to do a nice little twist around. Oh, there it goes. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? There you go. Hey guys! I'm getting some advice from my little uh, my little helpers over here. Alright, so I'm just stuffing the rest of my my pastry decorator, okay? And as I was showing you guys before, nice and easy, you're gonna do this. This guy's been fighting on some of the candy the whole time, but. So we're gonna just, real easy, nice and fun. Guys, you don't even have to use this, like I said earlier. You can use just a nice simple, and then just make a nice little spin, that's all. Right? And just turn it, twist it. 
The tough part here is making it with my uh, witch hat on. That's the tough part. And beautiful. Let's just do a couple more. Okay, I got everything finished up here, and you know, I've been getting a little advice from my helper, and everybody wants to tell me what to do, but I'll tell you, I could really use an expert on decorating um, cupcakes for Halloween. I don't know who I could use. Maybe an alien from a far distant land. What do you think? Oh my gosh, hello! Are you an alien from a far distant land? Yeah. Are you, are you an expert? It's nice to meet you down there. How's it going? Pretty good. All right. You want to help us decorate here a little bit? Sure. All right, let's pop these off. I'm going to pop that off so you can see what you're doing. Or can you see what you're doing with that? Now? See far. Are you serious? Yep. All right, so I'm going to move my little crow up here. So why don't you go ahead and take a cupcake. I'll take a cupcake. And real easy, guys. All you got to do is we've got little uh, marshmallows pop there right in the middle. Right, and you can use a couple of chunks of Reese's pieces. Isn't that great? So now you're adding a little peanut butter and chocolate flavor to it, right? Isn't that great? So I'm gonna pop that there. And then we got another one here. We're gonna add some yellow and black. Isn't that great? How you doing over there, alien? You know, I wanted to ask you, do you guys use uh, cupcakes on your alien land far away? Mm-hmm. Oh, you do? Yeah, we do. That's interesting. Do you make vanilla cupcakes like we made here today? Yes. You do? My camera person's laughing at us. I don't know why. Oh, that's a pretty sharp looking <laughs> cupcake right there. Now, what's the rule on your planet when you decorate cupcakes? Um. Are you allowed to eat them? No. Oh, yeah, you're not allowed to Yeah, we just make cupcakes and we just don't touch them. We just leave them out to admire. Oh, you leave them out to admire? Yeah. What do we do on on this country, in this country, on this planet, we, uh, in this country, in this planet, we... We eat them. We eat them. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Pretty do you, you don't find it offensive at all? Nope. Okay, I just want to check because we don't want to do anything with aliens that are insulting or improper. Thank you for helping me out, Mr. Alien. Hopefully you guys will have some fun with the recipe, decorate, go crazy. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, visit our webpage for some great cooking ideas and more recipes. Thanks for allowing us to share our heritage and our traditions with your family. Enjoy, bon appetit. I'll talk to you guys next week.